Once selections have been made in the Printer Settings section and the Layout Settings section, you proceed to Color Settings. And under Type, there are three choices. Printer Manages Color, Advanced Black and White Photo, and Use ICC Profile. For the overwhelming number of color images, select Use ICC Profile. One of the benefits of the Epson Print Layout is you can select Auto Select, and based on the printer, and the paper that has been selected in printer settings, it will automatically apply the correct profile. In this case, it's the Epson SureColor P900 underscore 700. And that's because these two printers, one is 13 inches, the 700, and one is 17 inches, the 900, use the same ink set, and it's specific to this paper, and that's the profile. But if you're using a custom profile, or you want to use a different profile, you can click here and select any of the profiles that you would like. But many people find, depending if you have multiple printers, that it can be quite challenging sometimes to locate which is the correct profile. And auto select is one of the great features of Epson Print Layout. When printing color in a color managed workflow, the rendering intent needs to be selected. For the overwhelming majority of images, select perceptual with black point compensation checked. Rendering intent tells the printer what to do with out of gamut colors. This used to be more of a challenge in the past when printers did not have as wide a color gamut as they do today, and many images fall within the gamut of the printers. Perceptual and relative colorimetric, which are the two rendering intents that are used for photography, are available, and the desktop version of Epson Print Layout, if your monitor is calibrated, allows you to toggle between the two to choose what might be better than relative colorimetric. Again, majority of time, as you can see, there's very little difference. Perceptual is the easiest rendering intent to choose. But some images that have extreme colors, such as this, and when toggling between perceptual and relative, notice the subtle changes in the yellows and the reds. In these extreme cases, then choose whatever the correct rendering intent that looks right on a calibrated monitor. In this case, it may be relative depending on your preference, or it could be perceptual. If you're printing color after making these selections, select how many prints you want to make, and then click Print. After making selections in printer settings, layout settings, and color settings, you can create a preset by clicking here, Save Preset, clicking the plus button, naming the preset to whatever you would like. And then if I make any changes later on, I can always, if I'm back at a different spot, I can always come back to that particular preset. 